For the Husker Highlights Show, I'm Ryan Mix. Nebraska and Wisconsin opening up Big Ten play under the lights in Memorial Stadium with tons of hype surrounding this game. The Huskers looking to bounce back from last season's embarrassing loss in Madison 48-17 get off to a very shaky start. Three plays after a 54-yard completion from Joel Stave to Jared Aberderis, Monte Ball finds the end zone for his fourth touchdown of the season to give Wisconsin a 7-0 lead with 11:02 remaining in the first quarter. Jake Bachoven and Scott Roche have the call. Wisconsin in diamond formation, two tight ends. On both sides, Stavi takes the hand, or Ball takes the hand off and pushes his way into the end zone for a touchdown. On Nebraska's first play after the Badger touchdown, the Huskers give it right back with a rare fumble from Rex Burkhead. Burkhead gets the ball and he fumbles near the 23 yard line. There's a big pile up and we don't know who's got it. First the officials mark the Badgers and they've got the ball. Badgers recovered the ball. Wisconsin takes advantage with the short field position with fourth and goal on the one. Monte Ball just gets past the goal line for his second touchdown of the game to put the Badgers up 14 to zero. Sending out the, sending out the offensive unit. I assume it'll be muscle on muscle here. And that Husker defense trying to fire up that end zone. Coming out to I formation, tight ends on both sides. Wide receiver out to his left, Stave. Take the snap, hand off the ball. And he looks like he got in. The Huskers answer the Badger score with a huge return from Amir Abdullah as he takes it 83 yards to the Badgers' 13-yard line. Thompson ready to tee off with a 14-0 lead on the Huskers. It's 7.20 to go in the first quarter. Russell kicks the ball off again. Looks like it'll go to Abdullah. Gets it at the five, brings out 10, 15, 20. He's got some space, gets out to the 30. Has a couple men to beat, he's at the 50. He's running down the sideline, running out of gas, and gets pushed out at the 20 yard line. A great return for Amir Abdullah. There was that blocking on the return game, opened up one big hole for Amir Abdullah. Nebraska's offense can't take advantage with the good field position as the Huskers go three and out. But Brett Maher gets Nebraska on the board with a 26-yard field goal. Snap is down. Kick is good, and the Huskers are on the board. They cut the deficit. Now the Badgers 14, the Huskers 3, with 5.29 to go in the first quarter. With 11.50 remaining in the second quarter, Joel Stave connects to Jared Aberderis for a 29-yard touchdown to put the Badgers up 20-3 after the missed PAT. Going to come out of the high formation. Stave. Still a lot of confusion on the defense, it looks like, for the Huskers. Everybody's motion around. Play action. Stave's going deep for Aberderis. And he grabs it, and he's going to get a touchdown as, again. For the Badgers. Badgers come back on offense with third and eight from Nebraska's 42 yard line, but can't convert as Will Compton gives a big spark to the Husker defense. Stave in shotgun, two wide receivers to his left, one to his right. Nebraska brings, brings pressure, and they're going to sack him back near the 46 yard line. Will Compton made that sack. They brought six blitzers on that one, and they were determined to get to Stave there. They bring him down well behind the line of scrimmage. Looks like a loss of nine on that sack. Fourth and 18 from the... The Husker offense takes the momentum and runs with it. They march down the field 93 yards, capped off with a touchdown reception for Rex Burkhead to cut into Wisconsin's lead 20-10. High formation. Got one tight end coming across to Taylor's left. Gonna fake the pass and throw it out there, and it's gonna be caught for a touchdown, Huskers. Well, you hear a little bit of that. 
The Badgers have a chance to extend their lead late in the first half, but aren't able to convert as Jack Russell's 41-yard field goal is no good. Jack Russell will attempt a field goal here. It's six for nine on the year in field goals. And the field goal's up. And it looks like it's no good. Oscars catch a break there. 29 seconds to go. The Badgers not able to add three points to this lead. You're listening to the Husker Highlight Show. Stay tuned for second half highlights on 90.3 KRNU. Wisconsin takes advantage with the outstanding field position going 13 yards in four plays. Capped off by Monte Ball's third touchdown of the game to give Wisconsin a 27-10 lead. Stack diamond formation for the Badgers. Their goal line defense hand off the ball, and he looks like he runs in for the third touchdown of the day for Monte Ball. Taylor Martinez forgets about his fumble awfully fast, putting Nebraska right back in the game with a 38-yard touchdown run to make the score 27-17 Wisconsin with 8.56 remaining in the third quarter. Again, looks like three receivers, two Martinez is right, one to his left. One to his left is Steven Osborne. He's got Burkhead in the backfield with him in the shotgun. Martinez. Takes a snap, drops back, and it's a quarterback draw again. They've had success earlier. They have success again. He breaks open. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He is near the goal line, probably pushing out the two. They're going to call it a touchdown for the Huskers. The Huskers stay clicking on offense as Taylor Martinez connects with Kyler Reed in the end zone for a touchdown. The pass interference penalty is declined as Nebraska cuts into Wisconsin's lead 27-24 after the PAT. Wins on both sides, Abdullah. Looking for Taylor to run this one. Martinez instead will pass over the middle. A lot of coverage, but it looks like it's caught by Kyler Reed for a touchdown. There's a flag on the play. That was a great catch for Kyler Reed. That was in a lot of traffic, so you got to credit Taylor for that throw as well. And the referees will huddle up. They'll talk about it. Taylor's going over to find out what's going on. And he's running off. That looks like Husker touchdown. The Husker defense forces their second straight three and outs, setting up the offense with good field position. Nebraska goes 47 yards in seven plays with Brett Maher connecting on a 38-yard field goal to tie the game at 27 with 55 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Is looking to convert on this field goal. Ball will be down at the 29 yard line. Up, and it is good. The Husker offense has success driving down the field once again, going 60 yards in 12 plays to set up Brent Maher with a 41 yard field goal, giving Nebraska its first lead of the game 30 to 27. Maher will come out here to try to get the lead for the Huskers. Be about a 42 yarder. 9.47 to go. The snap is back. Hold is down. And the kick is good. And the Huskers take the first lead of the ball game. They're up 30 to 27 over the Badgers. 9.41 to go in this game. Fast forward to 1 minute 15 seconds left in the game. With Nebraska still leading 30-27, to 27, Wisconsin has 4th and 1 on their own 49-yard line. Think this defense earns the black shirts with this play? The an eye formation stacked to the right now as Aberdeeris comes over on the motion. O'Brien takes the snap, going to hand it off the ball, and he's going to be hit in the backfield and taken down. There's actually a fumble on the play, and Nebraska recovers. That's Harvey Jackson on the recovery, and the Huskers should get out of this one with a win. A win indeed for the Huskers as they move to 4-1 overall, but more importantly, 1-0 in Big Ten play with the victory. It doesn't get 